Since we're doing a chi-square test, let's use the four-step process. So the state steps already taken care of. Um, we have our significance level, alpha equals 0 0.05, and our hypotheses. Now, if conditions are met, we will use a chi-square test for homogeneity. We know it's homogeneity because we have these two separate populations that we're comparing. It looks like 750 surveys were administered to male employees and 750 surveys were administered to female employees. And we're using this sample data to determine if there's evidence that these two populations are different in how they feel about this categorical variable, have cried and have not cried, as a result of a performance review. So the random condition. From the stem of the problem and the table, we see there was random samples of 750 men and 750 women. So that condition's met. For the independent condition, since we're sampling without replacement, we need to check the 10% condition for both samples. So there are more than 7,500 male and 7,500 female employees. So that condition's met. For the large sample size condition, we need to check that all of our expected cell counts are at least five. So we could do this by doing row total times column total divided by table total for each cell, or we can do it with matrices on the calculator. So here's how to do that. Press second and this X to the negative one button to access the matrix menu. Go over to edit so we can edit matrix A. And our table is a two by two table, so I'm gonna put two by two and input the data. Now if you press second quit and push the stat button, go over to test and go all the way down to chi-square test. Now it says, where is your observed matrix? And our observed matrix is matrix A, so we're good. And it says, where do you want your expected matrix to be? Matrix B is just fine. So I'm gonna push calculate, and I'm gonna ignore this for now. Let's go back to our matrix menu. And now you can see matrix B is also a two by two. So if I go to edit and I click on B, here's my expected cell counts. Notice they match. Now this is because we're assuming the null hypothesis is true to determine our expected cell counts. So if there is no difference in the proportion of men and women who have cried as a result of a work performance review, and if the sample sizes are the same for the men and women samples, we'd expect these to be the same numbers. But the good news is they're all greater than five, so our sample's large enough. For the do step, we're gonna go back to the stat menu and go over to test, and we're gonna go to chi-square test again. And this time, we'll look at the data. So we see our test statistic is about 10.7. There's our p-value, it's pretty low. And our degrees freedom is one. So let's write that down. Now the p-value represents the probability of us observing results this different if in fact the proportions between the men and the women are the same. So since this value is very low, we're gonna reject the null hypothesis. So we're gonna say with a p-value of about 0.001075, which is less than our alpha value of 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a difference in the proportion of men and women who have cried as a result of a performance review. Now for part B, we're gonna perform another significance test, but this time a two sample Z test. Let's start by restating the hypotheses, but in a different form. So our null hypothesis is the proportion of men equals the proportion of women. And our alternative is the proportion of men is not equal to the proportion of women, where the proportion of interest is the proportion of males or females who have cried as a result of a work performance review. So we're not gonna check conditions on this problem. Let's go right to the test. If you press stat and you go over to test, one of your options is a two prop Z test. So X1 is how many men cried? So we'll say 187. N1 is our total sample size of men, which we know is 750 from above, but we could also do this. We could type 187, the number who cried, plus 563, the number that didn't cry, and it inputs the 750 for us. Now X2 is the number of women who have cried, and this is also gonna be a 750, the total number of females. 
Now, what we're interested in is if these proportions are different. So we'll choose the not equal to option. Now, if we go down to calculate, here's our test statistic and here's our p-value. We can also see the sample proportion of men that cried was about 25% versus 18% for women. And was that difference significant? Yeah, our p-value says it was. Let's write down our test statistic and p-value. So you may have noticed that our test statistics are different, but our p-values are the same. The reason the test statistics are different is one of them is based on a chi-square distribution with one degree freedom, and the other one's based on the normal distribution. Those are very different shapes, so to cut off the same p-value area, they have to be different values. So this low p-value from either test would always result in rejecting the null hypothesis. So our conclusion's the same as above. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a difference in the proportion of men and women who have cried as a result of a work performance review. If you liked this video and want to learn more about chi-square test, check out this playlist. It covers all the typical chi-square test and helps you distinguish which one you should use.